All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got the beautiful Indian, and now the beautiful Indian. And uh, as these days typically start on Indians, we're at a gas station. <laughs> what we're gonna do today is head to Fort Worth, do a little ride through, and uh, just kind of hang out. It's a motorcycle Sunday fun day. That's the, uh, that's the official name now. But we are gonna head out there and uh, sort of drive through Fort Worth and then head to Cycle Gear just to look around, maybe look at a new helmet, possibly. And then, uh, yeah, you ready? You will have to navigate us though to Cycle Gear from Fort Worth because, well, once we get there, it is a beautiful Sunday today. We moved a whole bunch of furniture yesterday. Thank you, James and my friend Trevor for helping move a ton of furniture and totes and boxes and everything and come on Nissan Leaf what are you doing dude so today is like the first official ride on the Indian we did the kind of initial impressions video and showed you guys that I picked this up but we haven't really ridden it around all that much so today is gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a ride probably you know 50 60 miles ish to to get some impressions on it but so far so good what i will say is the windscreen does literally nothing it uh blows all the air right into my helmet so at any speeds over like 75 miles an hour which i would never go over 75 miles an hour it really buffets your head quite a bit and uh a little difficult actually so i may get rid of this or do something maybe a little bit taller because even when tucking down it doesn't really do anything and as of course it always goes, it is a Sunday and there is traffic. There's always traffic on this road, no matter what time of day, no matter when you go. Just typical Texas 35 things. If you guys ever have been here, you'll know, you'll know. All right, guys, we'll get back to you when we're in some more interesting footage. And we'll talk a little bit more about the Indian. And again, these motorcycle Sunday fun days are going to be just more talking and riding and not so much reviewing just for chit chatting so we'll be back with you soon during downtown Fort Worth I actually used to live down here a uh, little bit around the corner uh, over here to the left kind of near that factory thing on the other side of it in some apartments and it was pretty awesome because everything was in walking distance a bunch of, bunch of breweries uh, a bunch of restaurants and i uh, really enjoyed living down here actually but not so much at rush hour traffic was not fun during rush hour when i was eating like crap guys i would eat at that sonic right there pretty regularly because it was like literally go down that road right there and my apartment was right there on the right like five minutes from here not even three minutes from here so i lived on sonic tater tots basically but now i'm eating better i've lost 12 pounds Woo! Go Urban Moto! So James asked me about the throttle by wire and my thoughts on that and I feel like it's missing a little something like it's missing a little throttle like a uh, little sensitivity or something I'm not really sure how to explain it. Puppy dog. Hello puppy dog. He does not want to cross the road. Why did the Chihuahua cross the road? To go to Taco Bell! <laughs> Yo quiero Taco Bell. Dude, this thing is hot. Oh my God. The heat off the Indian is real, guys. Holy crap. Woo. If you guys remember this spot from a couple of videos ago, I took the uh, Talaria Triple X down here. We did the ride on the trails. We're gonna take the bikes on the trail today, I think. What do you think, James? <laughs> this parking lot is literal trash. So much heat emanating off this thing. What in the holy hell? All right, guys, so here we are at the Panther Pavilion, that trail right there where people are, you know, about to ride their bikes over there. That's where we rode the Talaria. I'll drop that video link in the top here. If you want to watch it, that'd be that'd be great. Um, I did go 50 miles an hour on that bike trail. So, <laughs> so uh, not sketch at all. I keep telling James, maybe, just maybe, he should get a an Indian Challenger and keep the Indian Scout. 
because those are two different riding styles, you know? One is more road, fast, you know, quick turns. The other one is cruiser, long distance, and that will allow Urban Moto then to get some sort of bagger <laughs> that I can then take on road trips and things, because we learned in the, uh, is the R7 good for road trip video, that uh, sport bikes and bikes that don't have an upright seating position, and even, in fact, Indian Scouts are not the most comfortable motorcycles for, you know, seven hours of riding um, on a highway. Now, it was different, though, because when we were in the Ozarks, and I was on the MT-09 and James had the Indian, it wasn't as bad. But I think we were going slower, I think we were throttling up and down, and those highway speeds with the wind and everything just beat you up. So, I think, uh, you know, like a nice big comfy 900 pound bagger would work. Now. That being said, I think that uh, James also needs to get a 360 swivel motorcycle thingy for his shed, which I'll drop a picture of right now. It's not that expensive, so if you guys like this video and we get like 5,000 likes, I'll buy James that swivel thing. Now, he has to get a shed to fit it in, but that's beside the point. So, <laughs> we have to uh, we have to get 5,000 likes in this video. Don't know why we'd get 5,000 likes, but we can get 5,000 likes. You guys did drop in the last video about the uh, white plastics there. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to wrap them in black and put my Urban Moto logo on there. I think that would look really cool. Pretty easy to accomplish, actually, because they're such small little plastic pieces. I can have somebody, you know, print that and wrap that, no problem. After two rides, <laughs> I think it's going to stick around. I do want the Carbon R seat for this, though. I keep seeing the Carbon R seat for sale, and I really, really want that. Also, I've already ordered the Fender Eliminator kit. Now, that being said, though, I think I accidentally ordered it from China when I had a few adult beverages, and I think I got scammed, potentially, but, <laughs> so it may never show up, so I may have to order a new one, but um, all that to say, loving the Indian so far, now there are two Indians on the channel. Well, one's James, but James is generally with us on these rides and hanging out and all that good stuff, but so anyway, guys, let's hop back on the bikes. Let's get going. We're going to head to Cycle Gear and maybe a shirt club. I don't know. Um... <laughs> We gotta get the gunk off of this thing. Anyhow guys, I did order an oil change kit for the DRZ. Yes, it actually happened. Yay! No, I don't believe it. So I realized yesterday, it's been a while since I've done an oil change on that. So we're gonna do an oil change on it. We're gonna get it back on the road. We're gonna ride it around some more. Very excited to have the Indian on the channel. Obviously we still have, was that bird on my bike? Sorry, we still have the Indian, we still have the DRZ, and we still have the Harley um, Street Bob 107, which also has a dead battery. I don't know what's going on with the battery thing. I, it's on a charger. I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, guys, hope you're liking the video so far. If you haven't done so, do me a favor, like the video. That helps me out a ton. We're going to jump back on the bikes. We're going to go ahead to Cycle Gear, look around for a little bit, and just hang out and kind of close out the day. All right, guys, so we just got to Cycle Gear, and uh, turns out there's a lot of uh, beautiful motorcycles around us. We got a Super Duke right there. We've got some 636s, Honda CBR1000, another 636, another 636, another 636, and a Yamaha R6 over there on the uh, dyno. So it looks like they're doing a bit of a dyno day and a ride out today. People are going to be getting here around 11 to noon, and uh, I don't know what they're doing. Some charity event, I think. We're going to squeak out before it gets a little too hectic, and head back towards the homestead all right guys we're back on the road kind of wanted to get the uh, indian tested but didn't want to kind of wait out there in the sun and have to hook it all up and all that stuff maybe one of these days soon we'll get it tested i'd like to see if it actually has the 140 claim but anyway guys hope you like this short short video today if you did do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel it's free helps me out a ton and click that bell to get notified when more videos come out thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video later